What's this all about? I hope it's nothing but bad. Hey, look, I can touch my nose. Yeah. Right. Quiet! Quiet down, everyone. I called this meeting for a very serious reason. It's that time of year again. Oh, no! Not that time of year already. Exactly what that time of year is it? Valentine's Day. Oh, hey. We must avoid the terrible fiasco that took place last year. Positively, absolutely long ears. Uh, but just one thing. What terrible fiasco are we talking about? Uh, Tigger, allow me to refresh your memory. Too many cards were given last year. Ten zillion valentines is more than any one animal can use. Oh, my. They were all about, weren't they? That's right. They stopped up my tunnel. <laughs> yeah, my house was a terrible mess. Why, I couldn't even find it. Uh, has anybody seen it lately? And most of the blame can be placed on just one of us. A certain bear who shall remain nameless, but whose initials are Winnie the Pooh. Hmm, that sounds familiar, but I can't quite place the face. Whenever anyone gave him one valentine, he responded with three. <laughs> I had 40 bushels. I received 200,000 at least. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I got an even quadrillion in one. <laughs> I wonder how many that is. Well, now that that's solved, shouldn't we get down to important matters? Like giving valentines. Who you must learn to control yourself. <laughs> but I can't help it. I just like to show how much I care. In fact, happy Valentine's Day, Robert. Uh, it's hopeless. Pooh, I'm afraid there's only one thing left to do. You're going to give me a Valentine? Oh, thank you. No. We must cancel Valentine's Day. <laughs> really? Oh, my golly. <gasps> Cancel Valentine's Day! There's no other way. The situation calls for drastic measures. We should follow the example set by Eeyore last year. But uh, Eeyore didn't send any Valentines last year. Exactly. That way, nobody's feelings will be hurt. And nobody will be buried by unwanted cards. I want everyone to promise that not even a teeny tiny Valentine gift will be given. All right, me too. Me too. Right. See you later. Oh, so, it's official. Valentine's Day is canceled. Now, who could that be? A Valentine gift for me? Oh, my. Someone broke their promise. Hmm. I'm quite certain it wasn't me. I would remember giving myself a gift as wonderful as this. Unless, of course, I did it when I wasn't around. It must be from my best friend, Piglet. He really shouldn't have. But I'm glad he did. I must give him something as wonderful in return. Perhaps a jar of honey. But I'd better not tell anyone, including me. I've never been known for keeping a secret. Uh, yes? Piglet, you promised not to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, Pooh. Uh, I promise not to do it again. Um, what did I do? You gave me a wonderful jar of honey as a Valentine gift. I did? And if you ever do such a thing again, I shall have no choice but to thank you again. Happy Valentine's Day, Piglet. I'm sorry it's only half full, but it was a long trip. Oh, thank you, Pooh, but I can't keep it. Why not? Because I didn't get you anything. You, my best friend. Oh, that's all right, Piglet. Keep it anyway. Only please don't tell anyone about it. Oh, my. If the honey wasn't from my best friend, Piglet, then from what best friend was it from? I never remembered Valentine's Day to be so confusing. I must find the real Valentine giver and give him a piece of my mind. And a Valentine. Oh, dear. Now I have to make Pooh a valentine, too, or, or he'll think I'm ungrateful. I do hope Rabbit doesn't find out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 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 Now, Roo, dear, it isn't polite to bother someone when they're pretending to be a mailbox. A mailbox for secret valentines only, if you please. 
Oh, bother. My disguise doesn't seem to be working. Aw, oh, I think the mailbox is sad, Mama. Maybe a valentine would cheer him up. Uh, but don't tell Rabbit. Think, think, think. I do hope Pooh likes the valentine cake I made him. And I do hope no one sees me. What was that? <laughs> Hiya, Piglet Pal! Uh, what's up? Uh, up? Yeah, you know, P-U, up. Oh, nothing. Certainly not a cake. Oops, did, did I say cake? I meant, aren't we late? Uh, for late? Uh, late for what? Oh, we, we must be late for something. Uh, b uh, breakfast? Oh, I had breakfast already, Piglet. <laughs> well, you can never have too many breakfasts, I always say. I say, how strange for snow to fall on such a clear day. Especially warm, sweet snow with raspberry hearts. From Piglet. Oh, how nice. Piglet sent me a valentine cake. Why, I haven't been so moved since Aunt Lucille tried to teach me to fly by kicking me out of the nest. Unfortunately, I was still in my egg at the time. <clears throat> I must reciprocate Piglet's generous offering with a valentine of my own. Uh, secretly, of course. I wonder, what does one get a very small animal? <gasps> ah, yes, I know. A very small valentine. Yeah, I think Green Fun Day's an egg sounds good. Uh, but what I could really use for breakfast is... Yipe! Oh, dear, dear, dear. Piglet? Piglet? Hmm, what's this? <laughs> Buddy Bird got me a valentine cake. Well, I gotta get old Feather Duster something, too. Oh, but first, I better get rid of this evidence before Rabbit sees it. <laughs> <laughs> Back! Back! Oh, there. Finally. For me? A gift? Oh, how nice! Oh, no. It's a valentine. Not again. No. 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 Pooh Bear. I do hope Pooh likes the valentine I got him. Oh, dear. dear, dear. Maybe I should have given him candy instead. Yeah. And one for Pooh. And one for Piglet. And... Yeah! I'm not getting any valentine. I'm, uh, I'm uh, mail ordering for a ball peen carburetor. Honest. <laughs> and I'm uh, 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 catching up on my correspondences. Lots of relatives, you know. Oh, good. My new and improved disguise is working. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 what are you guys doing? We're not, We're not sending, sending valentines. valentines. Nope, wouldn't not think. us. Uh -uh. No way. Yeah, well, it's a good thing. We promised rabbit. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm just mailing it to myself. Excuse us. <laughs> it's a secret. Gee, Rabbit, didn't you bring a valentine, too? And just what is going on here? Oh, bother. Yeah! Oh, dear. What? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Rabbit. Me. They are Order! <clears throat> Clearly, there's only one of us of so very little brain that he'd start this mess up again and break his no Valentine's promise. Who? Why did you do it? But I didn't, Robert. Someone else broke it first, and I just broke it some more. <gasps> uh, someone else? Then that someone else has to be someone else in this room. Yes, it was me. I did it. I'm sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. And why did you send the valentine, Piglet? Well, you see, I, uh, uh, <laughs> actually, it wasn't me. Uh, then why did you confess? I I'm, uh, not very good under pressure. We must get to the bottom of this. Hey, who's the guilty party around here? Who broke the promise, Mama? Me, go. Why, oh, I don't know, are. dear. Order. 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 Perhaps it was someone who didn't know about our promise. Uh, someone like Christopher Robin. 
Who? <gasps> You're right. He didn't know. It must have been him. Well, if Christopher Robin's sending cards, we're going to have to send him one, too. Uh, in self-defense. I thought I saw a card around here somewhere. No. No! <laughs> This won't do. Groundhog no, Day. No, uh, where did this come from? Say, these are all used Valentines. We gotta have a new one for Christopher Robin. One like this? <laughs> it's an extra I had. <laughs> it's terrific, old buddy bear. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of on the scrawny side. We need a Valentine so gigantical, it'll hold all our friendship and then some. Maybe we could act out Pooh's card. Then it would be like a real life Valentine with all of us in it. <laughs> Piglet, that's a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of it? I a living Valentine. A project like this will require organization, skilled planning, and leadership. Obviously, a job for <clears throat> action. I said action. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. Kanga, ma'am. Well, thank you, Tigger dear. Tigger, what are you doing? That isn't romance. Well, sure it is, Long Ears. You always bounce the one you love. <laughs> uh, here, use these. Mm. Oh, say, not bad. Could use a little mustard, though. Oh, that would taste, Mrs. Kanga. No, no, no. You give them to her to hold. And then you give her a big kiss. <clears throat> a kiss? Oh, no, no, anything but that, anything but a yes, kiss. Couldn't I just shake her pouch or something? No, you must kiss her. You want to be in Christopher Robin's Valentine, don't you? Well, okay. Blech, that's it. You're fired, Tigger, fired. You obviously don't have what it takes. This part calls for someone with talent. Someone like... Here you are. <gasps> For me? Why, thank you, Robert. I'm touched. That's not a gift, Pooh. They're for the show. Yes, but it's a nice thought, anyway. Since when does a valentine need gunpowder? Since I took over the special defects. <laughs> And then Cupid flies in and... Where's Cupid? I'm Cupid, bringer of love. I'm Cupid, bringer of love. A rabbit? Wouldn't a very small animal such as myself be better playing a very small part? Nonsense, Piglet. You were born to play Cupid. Besides, you're just the right color for it. Now, let's see your arrow shooting. <laughs> oh, magnificent. He flies like the very wind itself. No, no. You must feel the music. Now, once more, with feeling. <laughs> well, I felt it. Ten minutes to show time. <laughs> Makeup! Makeup! It's makeup! Showtime! <laughs> excuse me. Uh, pardon us. Uh, excuse us. Uh, pardon us. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Rabbit? Here we are, 13D. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Rabbit presents a Rabbit production of Rabbit's Valentine to Christopher Robin. <laughs> to me? Directed by Rabbit, written by Rabbit, from an original idea by Rabbit, based on a notion by Rabbit, starring uh, the others. Oh, yes, original music composed by Rabbit, too. Cupid, that's your cue. Yeah! <laughs> I am Cupid, bringer of love. I, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I am Cupid, bringer of... Oh, wow. I, I am Cupid! That was not in the script. Where did the 
Scripsy orchestra blows away. Where? Kanga. <laughs> I give you these. Oh, bother. Oh, isn't that sweet? Thank you, dear. I must not have read the script closely because I don't remember this part. It is Valentine's Day, Kanga, and in the air there is... I am Cupid! A piglet, and a gopher, and a roo, uh, not to mention an owl. Tigger, the curtain! <laughs> Time for the big finish! You got it, bunny boy! I am Cupid! No, no, no! Tigger! One big finish? Come it up! <laughs> what do we do now, Rabbit? I am Cupid! My show! It was an absolute... <laughs> absolute success! The best comedy I've ever seen! A comedy? But it wasn't a... a comedy? Yeah, of course. It was a, it was a comic valentine. <laughs> I'm very glad you liked it, Christopher Robin. Liked it? It was the greatest valentines ever. These ones I got you aren't as nice. Hey, thanks. Oh, thank you, Christopher Robin. Oh, I say thank you. Why, thank you, dear. Thanks. Thanks, Christopher Robin. Oh, hell, if you think this was good, just wait until you see next year's show. I am a Cupid bringer of love. Um, oh, something's bothering me. If Christopher Robin gave you a card this morning, why did he give you another one just now? I suppose, Piglet, uh, he forgot. Although it's usually me who does the forgetting. Hello, Pooh. How'd you like the valentine I left you? Not that I expect any ballyhoo, mind you. You mean it was you who let Pooh the jar funny this morning? Yup. Felt bad not joining in the fun last year. Thought I'd do something about it this year. Oh, my. I remembered the way Pooh got everybody running around, all excited-like, showing how much they cared for each other. Made me wish I could do that. Not that an Eeyore ever really could, mind you. <laughs> oh, but you did, Eeyore. <laughs> yes.